Um, welcome, Professor Gopal. And uh, just by way of introduction, Dr. Gopal has a PhD in the area of distributed operating systems with a variety and a range of areas of interest, inclusive of cyber physical systems, usability engineering, nano computing, among others. Uh, Dr. Gopal is an expert member of the editorial advisory board of the International Journal of Information Ethics. And this year is, in fact, the chair of the technical program committee uh, of ISTAS. Over to you, Professor Gopal, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. I must thank Dr. Katina Michel for ensuring that I do a talk. Normally, as a matter of practice, I don't do any lectures in an event that I'm organizing. Thank you for that simple introduction and a nice introduction that I'm also serving as the technical program committee chair right now for the ISTIS 2022 with which since, 20, since 2022 is co-located. It's an experiment that I'm embarking on uh, largely because most of my colleagues think that when I want to, I switch very fast in my mind that keeps the teams a bit off here. Uh, so there's a comment that I take from my senior colleagues and uh, it's only when I really want to use my mind, I switch fast. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the night with the lecture. A very good topic. I had the pleasure of interacting with Dr. Katina, a good friend of ours in the Panna University for more than 20 years now. And the topic which we arrived at in mutual consultation, secure localization software in global software intensive system. Software is now the watchword with a puzzle, it was a problem, it was a business opportunity. Yet nobody knows what exactly it is. We have very good principles, adequate number of principles, good practices, good champions who have said that this is the way the world is going to be in uncertainty, seek the uncertainty, seek the chances. And software is the only way in which you can have the um, maximum confidence of checking at the earliest. Is there any other method in a worldwide set of materials that are moving on a software that's happening on my desk? So that's a big question mark which we, which we started. In any case, in any case, a very promising area, very puzzling area, very intriguing area, very challenging, very stimulating, very aesthetic, but still, we still we, we, we do think that software at the level of puzzle problem was very nice. We can teach others. We can teach students, even though, Teaching computer science has always been a sort of a drudgery, as no less than Dijkstra was saying. It's good to teach at that level. Several years back, a decade, decade back, when we were debating in our syllabus committees, we thought that for the undergrad students, it's much more simpler to migrate them, graduate them to what we call real-time systems. Let's not talk about anything more than real-time systems. Things should happen if I press a button here, yeah, it should happen in real time. Why is that so? Because the nature of software development has been something which is antithetic to the way we perceive where the puzzle has come, where the problem has come. Context free. Pull the puzzle, pull the problem from the place where it has occurred, shift it to some other place in some abstract notation, develop what you think is a solution, pass it back to the place where the problem or puzzle has occurred, and then if it works, it's great. A version two is usually what works. So migrating them, graduating them into what is called real-time systems was a very good progress. By the time they get into a postgraduate course, probably they are good down real-time operating systems, not merely developing real-time code or microprocessors, which controls the uh, what is called the peripheral devices with a no op. A, a no operation is the best to control the peripheral of peripheral devices. So what we have done is a simple approach saying that, yes, that will be the base on which we build. And we build software, we build professional software to talk about mission, mission critical systems, safety critical systems. And we have also talked about what are called not only the software that improves the quality of life, it impacts the life itself. And this was happening for the past three decades. A Boeing was being controlled by a neural network. And therefore, what we have been talking about is a way in which we may have to simply sit back and think how we arrived at this space. 
very quickly i can control anything from anywhere that's what we give we get an impression now let me just take to the first slide what was the beginning of the business all over the world it was transportation there's no doubt about it automobiles highways infrastructure fast movement fastest movement across the world we saw globe trotters uh, about 15 years back i had a friend who was telling that see now i have a mobile app that tells me how many miles i have traveled in the last 3 months because i simply dock it saying that this is where i am this is where i am it tells me how many miles i have traveled it's a fantastic idea the simple cliched word or cliched phrase uh, 30 years back was it's time that we all get on to a context where it's breakfast in bombay lunch in london and dinner in new york very fast very fast moving idea transport is only used in physical sense that's the only concern we, we can't use transport in any manner without associating it with a physical sense so we said that there'll be mobility mobility in this sense mobility in the sense of physical mobility goods are moving people are moving frantic pace and that's the business that built the business so how do we build what is the next step the most logical step was we can't help it we work towards this the next step in progress is globalization and globalization how how am i going to make so many people move if movement was the reason why economic prosperity happened in this manner am i going to move let's say 50% of the population all over the world maybe if not 10 years 50 years 60 years later 70 years later no let's have a better idea we talk about transmission of ideas values and meaning across the world the problem of meaning is extremely difficult without the value system without what we call building on the localization and in summary traditions rather than talking about the physical parents who they are when they are not there also they are reflectable in sort of traditions which india treasures there are many other cultures that treasure that a worldwide movement toward economic financial communication trade integration now comes the next next concern what is this transmission like transmission is like spread it's spread into the airways transmission covers well we presume that only special gadgetry will be able to make any sense of what is being transmitted on the covers you need a special gadget something is happening in the air something is moving in the air it's, it's no concern to me my mobile is still in my pocket but unless there is some signal that fits it how do i take cognizance of it even though it's in my pocket i am so context insensitive not context free but context insensitive that's the concern that we are having right now we are expecting showers but i wouldn't know the organizers who with, with whom i am interacting have registered the fact that we are having rain rain threat in chennai uh, neither do i recognize that there's a typhoon coming in japan expected in, in in hong kong and a hurricane in the us so i'm i'm just a bit insensitive to the context it's not context free but i'm insensitive therefore we said let's have transfer transfer is used when something moves from one thing to the another the very good archaic idea message transfer agents that is what we were talking about so with this simple simple introduction let's go back to the global software intensive system which today is not only improving the life quality of life but impacting the life itself if that is the case what is it that we are talking about life is happening at a frantic pace the onset of globalization resulted in increased diversity in workforce customers ideas values meaning traditions everything have been put to, put to a severe challenge the diversity is something which we have been talking about india is a great country unison in diversity we have practiced a brand of inclusivity that is not found elsewhere localization refers to adaptation to meet the language cultural historical and other requirements of a specific locale without sacrificing the benefits of what we have been doing for centuries we cannot go back we cannot put the clock back a lot of things have happened like how we embarked upon the idea called globalization as the next best idea we need to talk about something to build on 
So separating localizable element, this is what we used to talk about like in my PhD in the area of distributed systems. If there's a way back in 90s, early 90s, we were always tying this idea. If you know what can be localized, what can be centralized, what can be decentralized, what can be distributed, later on, what can be globalized is heaven. There's nothing short of it. We do not have such sharp boundaries defining what is localizable. So we take recourse to what we want to do as bringing in the context, bringing in the context in a, in, in a, in a domain which has thrown it out. We said context free is the watchword. Software is built, languages are designed based on context free. The place where the problem, the place where the puzzle occurred is a context in some sense, but it's not with me. The, the, the concern here we always have is only the point where we, we, we are worried about that's the context we have abstracted it adequately. It's now on my desk. It's now being developed on my desk. Well, at some point in time, it had to go back because I claim that I've solved the problem. I claim that I've solved the puzzle. I claim that I have met a business requirement, a business dynamic. So how do we do that? How do we make them ensure that we are still good on separating localizable elements, the separation of concerns, as I call it, there are certain concerns which ought to be localized and let them and to make them add-ons on the globalized preferences is the primary hazard for securitization of people in place. So we, we always get mixed up where exactly we are the borderline cases. Can this be localized? Can this be globalized? We keep, we keep on having that part in two minds most of the time. So what we did is localization based on rich surveillance, localization based on separation of attackers and location confirmation. All these three things are happening now. What is the experience that we are having? What is, what is the typical experience that we are talking about? So we keep saying that earlier on, my student may be just across outside the room and he's just calling me. I don't know. He won't know where I am. Now we are seeing it on the on the mobile, but we still think we still think that let me call. Why do I interrupt? It's a cultural change that we are talking about. We are not really marking out attackers now. It's a case of inclusivity where we do not mark them out as attackers. It is a simple case that the people who are making the software are very modest. We are humble, we remain humble. We ought to remain humble. But then we have a social responsibility to tell them that based on software, no marking of people would happen a priori. We need a very long trace. So is it the case of giving more time to cover up the tracks or make them escape? Difficult questions to answer. The concerns on securitization become obvious because we want to catch them on the spot. And we do not really bother how the concerned person has been led into the spot. If I'm just crossing a, a, a red light on a traffic, I should be caught. It doesn't mean anything else. You have, you have crossed the, 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 the red light zone, you're caught, you should be penalized. So we have to be a bit more humane. This is my simple appeal. Let's not mark people anything. There's a need to get a trace, a delay in the exercise. Local location confirmation, yeah, it's happening. Uh, now the point is, we do believe in driving through some unknown territories. When we go out, it's just a fun element. We have the Google map. The Google, Google map works out the shortest path, but it doesn't tell me that in the middle there's a ditch where the car cannot go. It is not that updated. How can the context be updated that fast is the question. There's a ditch that was that was there and the car simply cannot go. So these are three concerns. Secure localization is definitely based on, but still a long way to go when we are separating localizable elements to make them add-ons. Globalization, the generosity is important. The power of statistics, the power of a large sample is absolutely necessary in software intensive systems. So we need to make a localization as a separated concern, which is an add-on on what, what, I'm, what I'm looking at in the globalized preference. Now, are you reading this color that I used, position as something aligned to Arizona State University? 
or are you not? The Arizona State University logo more or less has the same color. My apologies, I looked up on selecting this color sometime in the morning, early in the morning. It looked the same, more or less the same. If it is looking the same, I'm lucky. Otherwise, blame me, I'm responsible for that. The intention was that the choice of the color for the usage of this term position is to align it with Arizona State University's logo color. Thank you so much for excusing if it is not looking so on my machine or on your machine. The author strongly believes that most of the breaches in securitization is seldom due to highly advanced script system. It is not an advanced script system. Call it a matter of choice. Call it a matter of aesthetics. Call it a matter of transfer rather than transmit. It becomes so specific so easily. So the dead due to coming together of cultural values, belief systems, language, philosophical approaches, and practices in locales. So we are not really lo looking at a fantastic script system. It is just what we do on our own naturally that should somehow become a good add-on. Right now, close to the machines first is my simple, humble submission. Whatever we are attempting this, whatever can be attempted, in whatever way it can be abstracted and pushed into a software intensive system as an add-on, let it be closer to the machines. Then we'll bring them uh, to the people domain. People are important because people have an innate sense of steering towards safety first. They have that will to live. They have a living sense which makes them steer to what is called safety. Change is inevitable, but transformation is conscious choice. That's what the Heather Ash is, is very well known in this part of the country. She's talking about the path of transformation. Change leads to disappointment. BK Sayingar is a well-known yoga teacher. I like to use this on a calm looking ocean background. Change leads to disappointment if it is not sustained. Transformation is sustained change and it is achieved through practice. So we built a lot of things, software intensive systems, a plethora of practices. So what do we end up from a caterpillar to an abstract butterfly? Are we going to end up only with an abstract butterfly everywhere in the sense of localization? If that is the case, tomorrow it is going to be an abstract aeroplane, which I get a feeling that we are sitting in the abstract aeroplane and flying. No attempt is needed to really fly. Why not only that there can be a poor man's cat in Hepburn uh, created anywhere? So that's the concern of disciplinarity becoming multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, and transdisciplinary. Once again, we score on the software because software after mathematics is the only method that can represent trans transdisciplinarity at the higher level synthesis. After mathematics, there is no unifier until software happens. So mathematics taught us how to become transdisciplinary provided we get on to those nice notations and symbols. Kindly alert me on the time. I, I have a tendency to do a bit of a uh, verbose exercise rather than what I wrote in the slides. So that's localization. There is no second opinion about it. That language is found only there. Where the probability density function is there, that language flies. The probability density function, if it is nicely fitting into a geographic system, geographic area, there's nothing like it. Nothing political about it, very technical. It, it builds on it builds on the local language, the local tradition. The fear of unknown in the next generation is best handled by the local traditions because I see them. The, the youngsters are so good on visual cueing. They're exceedingly good. They just simply observe and learn. So they, they don't need a fantastic language to classify. They don't need an analytic, analytic tool. So let, let's bank on that localization, which is on a probability density function. We would rather talk about transmit and uh, 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 later. Transmission is something which is happening on transmission lines. Let's see if we can go back to that message transfer agent idea, which was so nice. All RFCs, all those original papers are great to read. So software is utilitarian, software is mutable, software is hidden. All this simply means that it's an abstraction which is transcending across any domain any discipline is buggy, it's transformable, dictatorial, it's pervasive, and one minute later than the time my session will be cut off tomorrow. 
I am very thankful that we have a moderator, uh, Dr. Roba Abbas, telling me that, see, you're only two minutes short. I don't even know what's happening and suddenly my session will be cut off. If I don't see that signal, I'll still be talking for the next 15 minutes. It can be time. It's happening. Application should be filed at 12 a.m. That's midnight. 12 1, it's closed. That fellow has to go through the anxiety for the next 10 hours. 10 o'clock, he goes to the office and can see I was supposed to upload this. The machine got pumped off. Something happened. There will be at least five cases on such sharp red lines. Are we humane in fixing this? Is there a regret window? So, therefore, I've been talking about the, through simple anecdotes. Uh, localization is a new globalization. We need to talk about it because we are building on globalization. It's an add on. We are not trying to dismantle globalization at all. We have to build on it. There's no second opinion. There is a goal also. So, my suggestion is let's slow down a bit. Let's slow down a bit. Take to the yoga gurus of uh, like TKS, Iyengar. What are those practices in local area? Let's calmly think down. Let there be a think tank in every local area. What are the practices that make it a viable add-on on globalization? There's no point in going back. We can't put the clock back. Neither are we interested to see nice things are happening. COVID-19, the crisis, the entire crisis was brilliantly handled on the net. Nobody was asking what time it is. Just join. If you can have an idea, if you think you can share, go ahead. So let's think. Let's see how best it can happen. Maybe we have a new profession on transdisciplinarity transdisciplinary engineering maybe it was like that before we have wonders marvels happened when it was like that engineering marvels so therefore what is my opinion about software intensive systems localization time language historicity i wanted to add the term traditions but then i avoided doing it in this lecture i would rather talk about faith in humanity at large that is what we build on I still think, I think, therefore I am. What I think is what I project. That's my viewpoint. Be yourself. Thank you very much.